Hey there, Jonathan again. Got the uh, got the holes drilled and the plate made for the top and all that happy, happy stuff there. Uh, still got to put a port in the top for the air. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take it off real quick and then uh, and show you what I got. The uh, I didn't put a bolt in this end because we got the, the rod coming out for the uh, to operate the valve. So just what nine bolts there. So. I'll pull it off and show you in just a second. Okay, here's the plate. Pretty simple. And the holes in the bottom of the steam chest. And uh, the holes in the top here. And you can see I kind of screwed up on that one. That was an afterthought there after I'd done the 8. And uh, decided to uh, add it in. And probably wasn't the smartest thing I'd done, but it still tapped out good and everything. After I mean, it's not a problem, so it'll be alright. But uh, I think what we'll do now is get our rod in. Uh, I made sure that the valve cleared the bolts, no problem. Uh, go ahead and get our rod made and get out. And let me see. Of course, put the pipe in here for the pressure. I don't know where we're going to put it, maybe in the center. Uh, and I think that's uh, I think that's about it for now. And uh, I guess after we get the rod in or get you know the hole and get it where it'll seal up, then uh, we'll get to work on that that bottom there where it needs to be filled up with lead or whatever we're going to have done. Uh, either way, pain in the butt. Uh, you know, it's just one of them deals. There's like I said. The other pumps are a lot easier to build them out of, and I just wanted to see if I could do one of these. And uh, you know, we're going to get it one way or the other, right or wrong. We'll make make it do something. And uh, if not, I got 11 pounds of black powder over there. We'll fill it full of black powder and and light it up and just see what the heck happens. All right, show you more later. Hey, let me add. Almost forgot there. Uh, these bolts I'm going to have to make, I think I'm going to make copper washers for them. And uh, if I can't find any washers that seal off, but uh, quarter 20 bolts. And, uh, you know, that's got to be sealed up. Don't want leaking out of there. And I, it's close enough to the wall and that's thick enough. You know, I think we're not going to have, have any problem with it leaking or anything. And uh, so just wanted to add that in. Got to be sealed up for sure. Okay, folks, it's about dark out here. But I need a part. Um, we're going to see if we can find one to rob off one of these trucks here. Of course, this is a bus. I need a fitting like this. But straight. need one 3 8 airline and I guess quarter or 3 8 uh, pipe thread on the other end. And this one but half inch hose. Hmm. We might have a fun job here. Let me check another truck. Well, that's pretty funny. It looks like there was one there and I've already robbed it. Hmm. Must have needed one before. Hmm. Let me see. Alright, I found one we needed. It's actually the one going up for the glad hands. Right here. We'll grab it out of there and I'll take it to the shop and see what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so what I did here is drilled that 3 8 ran a reamer through it, and then uh, we've got our nut there, the compression nut. And what we'll do is actually drill and tap and run this in there. We'll run this over the bolt, of course, and then, uh, or the linkage. And then uh, we can put a, an O-ring in it or, or some type of packing, you know, a little rope seal packing, whatever we want to put in it. But it, you know we can tighten it down and and uh, it'll flare it out enough. It'll it'll work out just fine. But that'll solve our our problem of getting our linkage in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill it and drill it and tap it and put it in there now. And I gotta keep it close to the top here. But I think it'll work out just fine. Show you in a few minutes. Okay, folks, we got it drilled, tapped it, quarter inch pipe thread, got our fitting in. Got our compression fitting on, 
and uh, like I said, we can put an O-ring in that or a packing. Uh, got all our bolts in for make sure everything cleared good and uh, looking good. So I think we'll be just fine. Uh, it all worked out worked out pretty good here. I think I'm going to have to go down just a little bit farther on my long slot because my my bolt's not going all the way there, or my nut's not going all the way to the bottom there. Uh, I don't think I went quite deep enough with it. But uh, you can see I, I had to go pretty close to the top, and uh, which is fine. It you know really don't matter. Uh, but I think that's going to work real good. Uh, no reason why it shouldn't. And uh, like I said, it. It clears the bolts, so don't clear them by a lot, but it, you know, that really don't matter as long as it's not touching anyway, them or hitting them. I appreciate you watching, and I hope somebody enjoys it, maybe, you know, learns a little bit off of it, and, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and comment, thumbs up if you like it, and I'll show you more later. Thank you.